Hello! Hey! Uh, we are playing Shovel Knight. Excuse me, it's Shovel Knight. Oh, I'm Excuse sorry. Excuse me, it's Shovel. Yeah, new adventures. New adventures. Shovel Knight, Plague Knight. Shovel, shovel Knight. Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight. We're gonna be Shovel Knight and Plague Knight. We'll Scrub the Plague Scrub. Knight later. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna put. Yes. We are the. Should I misspell it like I've been doing with her put other a Z videos? On the end of it. That's what's trendy. Yeah, wait, is that Z? It said. Do like scrubbers. 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 Just put the whole thing out with Z. I did. That's as many characters as I'm allowed to have. Scroobies. Yeah. Yay. So, um, we, this is Shovel Knight. It's a pixelated, story-driven oh platformer game. Duh. I have played through it to entirety. I, I suck at it. somewhat of it. Um, not all of it, but I do know the story. I just don't know, like, if the level's got secrets or everything like that, I don't have those memories. Probably do. Yeah, um, and we plan to play through this game, you know, we'll beat the story and everything, you know, we're gonna do our damnedest. I'm gonna uh, die a lot. And, you know, if we beat it and we enjoyed the ride, we'll jump onto the Plague Knight DLC, which I also have. Yay! So, woo. And I do believe that we're gonna substitute these videos in, in the place of Enter the Gungeon. Enter the Gungeon, while in... Entertaining game seems to be a bit too repetitive in the sense that now maybe we just didn't play it all the way enough, but when you die you go back to the first floor, that's what it seems like, and it just it feels like it's gonna get way too repetitive. And at least with Shovel Knight there's gonna be there's gonna be more progression. Yeah. We're gonna yeah. get farther in it. Sharpened by shovel. Yeah. Let's go. This is um me, Brad, playing through it right now. I'm gonna go ahead and clear the Shovel that dirt. tutorial. Yay. Show y'all what this game is about. Pogo on bugs. Oh, crap. Well, I'm already doing a crap job. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was gonna do shitty. Well, I think it's pretty funny that I'm going through the tutorial when I wanna say I'm the one with the most experience hands on <laughs> in this it game. It should be me going through the tutorial. <laughs> Oops, I got you. Uh, I, um. I've, like I say, I've played through it. I haven't beaten it on um, what's called New Game Plus. New Game Plus. Yeah. And Plague Knight and New Game Plus, I'd say, are very similar in difficulty. Like Plague Knight is no joke in terms of DLC. It's not a cruise. And I thought my first time playing through um, Shovel Knight was actually... I hurt myself in a bubble. I thought Ow. my... <laughs> How? Did you that? What did you do? How? I thought my first time playing through on Shovel Knight was actually pretty easy, and I'm not really living up to it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> for anyone who doesn't know, these things right here are checkpoints, and you can also break them for an achievement. Not that one. Oh. Um, if you try, you're not allowed to break the ones in the tutorial right at the beginning. Okay. Yeah. Um, hopefully, I can find all the items because in my last playthrough, I missed the. I think it's the helicopter dagger or something. I didn't grab it. Are spikes insta kills in this game? Yes. They're insta kills in every game. They're insta kills in this one. It's like Mega Man the Sunday. I was about to say, this is, yeah, this is very reminiscent of Mega Man. I breathe. Oh, BJ, it's your, it's your mortal enemy. The dagger. No, bubbles. On his head. Bubbles? Yeah, bubbles. He breathes the bubbles to taunt me. Take that, demon. <laughs> Hey, you that's my felled, kind. You have felled the bubble beast. Don't diss my kind, okay? Wait. The skeleton died. Oh, are you a dragon kin? I, I like I dragons. Know. You 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 identify as dragon kin? No. Like, are you gonna lobby for your own bathroom? <laughs> no. I just like dragons. They're in, they are interesting. You know what? You know what's pissing me off here? What? There's a suit of armor, a special ability where if you hold X, you get to charge it, and then you get oh, to name. like super swing with it. Ooh. And I can't do it now, <laughs> and that's like my go-to move. You can't super. You can't super shovel. I can't super shovel. Super shovel. I want to say that's the way to go. You don't want to go that way. Not yet. Not when there's secrets to be had. Definitely not. Secrets! We've got music notes and things to get. Yeah. Now, this isn't going to be a completionist playthrough. No, nope. <laughs> this is going to be a, hey, we're currently playing this. Deal with it. Playthrough. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, you're missing a chunk yeah, of wait. dirt. I see what you mean. Yeah. But this is the tutorial. We can complete the tutorial. 
Yes, but gold is gold is gold. It, it's money. Right? Yeah, and when you die in this game, you don't have a set number of lives, but instead you lose your gold, and no which, one wants to lose their money. It's like oh, Dark Souls, then you lose your gold. souls, which is pain in the ass. Quack the goggles. Oh Jesus, I gotta finish Bloodborne. I still need to get through uh, Dark Souls One. I haven't even beat that. I don't want to finish. Man, Bloodborne. get with the program. Casual. Well, I thought Bloodborne? you should. Now I'm talking about. <laughs> Dark Souls 1. I beat Dark Souls 1 maybe two months ago now. You know what the funny thing is? Hmm. Um, the veterans of Dark Souls and whatnot are pissed at Dark Souls 3 no. for being Bloodborne. That's not what I was gonna say, mm -hmm. you oh. I really like Dark Souls 3. No, they learn how to let people finish. Their, their talk processes <laughs> and their speeches. Is. No, um, I'm hearing that a lot of vets of Dark Souls and Demon, even Demon Souls are saying that Bloodborne is actually easier. Because it, it's a rewarding, it rewards aggression. And you get your health back. And you get your health back with their um, rally system. Mm. And if you repost enemies, like you counter them with certain items or runes equipped, whatever it is, you get a good chunk of your health back. So it's not as penalizing. And it definitely rewards aggression. I haven't really played any of the Souls games. So I jumped straight into Bloodborne, and I'm wishing I had a fucking shield. <laughs> well, I mean, you geez. can you can get one in Bloodborne. It's crap. It's poo. Yeah. It's a wooden. It's a wooden shield. It's poo. It's wooden piece. The game of actually poo. is like, hey, shields are cool, but if you're gonna be a pussy about it, then put the shields away. I mean, they don't say it. Like that, but, <laughs> I mean, kinda. There's another shield that you can get in that game that's actually not a piece of shit. Oh, it's right. all the way Wait, in the DLC. Right? Isn't there some? Yeah. Stuff here? Oh, so basically, you have to go through... So there is another shield? Yeah. It's actually a good shield, but you have to play through... All of the DLC for it. I don't know if it's all of it. Most of it. I think you have to be a boss, and I've seen people play the bosses in the DLC fuck that. Yeah. Nope, fuck no, that noise. I don't want to deal with no Ludwig. Or, um... Ludwig? I'm talking about Lady Maria. Lady Maria I'm or uh, uh, the about. Orphan still is, is pretty terrifying. What? Yeah. Now, um, I've played through most of the... Most of the Souls games, I've beaten one and two. I, I was Nassandra. Nassandra? Oh, Lady Queen Nassandra? Yeah. She wasn't that much of an issue. Really? I mean, I thought that her curses were bullshit, but I really didn't have as much of an issue with Nassandra as I thought I would. No, no who's really no. hard? The final boss of Dark Souls 1. A lot of people call him a bitch because you can parry him. Uh, is that the Lord of Cinder? Lord of Cinder, Gwyn. Yeah. Gwyn, Lord of Cinder. I'm confused about the story of Dark Souls One because um, it does. Uh, I'm at the Spider. I'm like, I have the interest of Spider Queen, which is going to its help because I have to drudge through poisonous muck. Yeah, he's at. Um, he's trying to ring the second bell. Is that you know, Quelly? Quelly, yeah. Um, I got the. God, I got the. I, I got the red. Slime here, I got the I'm red sure. armor that. Uh, Jin had. Well, anyway. Which does jack shit for me. Um, what was I talking about? I was talking about Nassandra? Yeah. Yeah. Holy crap. Gwyn, Wait. Lord of Cinder, I know. Gwyn, Lord of Cinder gave me so much trouble because I'm more of a patience build and I didn't, I, I was not good at parrying. But... And he, yeah, you can parry him. He's the only one in Dark Souls 1 who you can parry. Holy crap, does he give you no room. He is ultra aggression. <laughs> he will fly to you, and the only thing that you can use is you, to your advantage is a small little pillar in front of you. Isn't he the one with the um, uh, five sh Dark Knights? Yeah, he's got the five Dark Knights in front of him, but those little bitches. Ah. To where I was at the beginning of the game, I could take them out in one hit. Or at the end of the game. Oh, so I met some you of those. Voice um, them? I knew who started our face sooner or later. The Cerulean Coward. Turn back, Shuval Knight. There's nothing here for you anymore. Stand aside, Black Knight. I've no quarrel with you. I must return to the Tower of Fate. Your time already has dulled your senses, can't you see? This entire valley has been conquered by the Bitress. <laughs> And her invincible knights of the Order of No Dimes stand between you and the tower. <laughs> oh my god. 
but none of that matters because anyone after the Beatrice has to go through me. Steal the shovel. <laughs> okay, that has to be a, a high-pitched version of someone else, like someone who's laugh. It's not like a. <laughs> I am ready for you. <laughs> and what's a game without? Remember, a game remember of you ball? watching me fight him yeah. at the end of the game? Oh god. Uh, it's a little bit different than this. Yes. <laughs> uh, no spoilers for for the for the watches and the peoples. Uh, come on, come on. So yeah, back on the topic of Dark Souls. Yeah, on um, Dark Souls and their boss fights, which are Pain not masses. that this is super easy to a lot of people, uh -huh. but they're definitely yeah. um, the Dark Souls boss fights are definitely a lot harder than this. Oh, me. definitely! I Aha, had trouble. You've been juked. I had trouble fighting the gargoyles, and yeah. then yeah, yeah, yeah. I had actually troubles with that boss ah, you showed me, um, Moonlight Butterfly. Ah. I had problems with her or it. You get an achievement for doing that. Oh, really? Yeah. I already have it, but I felt like recreating. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get? You get an achievement if you finish off Black Knight with his purple little... Achievement pops up his, on his screen. Poopness. His poopness. Alright, I am passing the controller to Joosh. I don't remember how to do this. No, well, it's gonna be easy. You've got the choice between two of the starter places after going through the city. You've got... Royal is it? No, it's King Knight. King Knight, King Knight and Specter Knight. Oh, no, King Knight's gonna get his own DLC. Nice, really. Mm -hmm. Save her. Hey, I know what you're doing. <laughs> I'm falling from this. I know they've been advertising the King oh. Knight DLC for oh. a while now. Oh, I just no. oh, you're gonna miss. I'm on the wrong side. You know, I don't know what happens if you miss. <laughs> <laughs> I've always caught it. You get an achievement. It's called God damn it. You get an achievement. You get an achievement. It's called God damn it, Shovel Knight. Yeah, only you free can treasure. stop water. Water fires? Only water you fires. can stop water fires. <laughs> Wildfires. Man. Only you can punch bugbears. Look at Do that. I have to go through the ground? Yeah, you have to. Uh, they don't, they won't let don't you talk to me oh, no. about types of bears. I can't Owl move. bears in D in D. &D. Hold. No weapons. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. He okay. basically okay. says no weapons. Oh, that's a shovel. You can come through. <laughs> He trolls you. Hey, look Talk to him. Oh. Hi. He wants music sheets. I, You give him two. He's like, hey, here's a thousand monies. Woohoo. Okay, well, y'all tell me about Black Knight's fight, but we can't read any of his text. Well, I mean, the Black Knight's a boss. You know, yeah, I mean, this so is So we can read boss text? Okay. Get your mana. Get your health. Get, yeah. Okay. No, I was just you questioning. You don't got no relics. I'm oh, sorry. Do I have to go on here for something? Um, oh, you can wait. go to the left to play a mini game, but you can Open go. The door. You, you probably want to go to the right. I wonder who this is. Yeah. This is. I want to say her name's Mona, right? I Mona. Mean... You gave her the monies. Ah, uh, that was an accident. <laughs> play the game now. Oh, god oh, damn oh, it! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, a point. But yeah, look at she's the enthusiasm for... on her face. Yeah. She's for something else. Yeah, she. In the main game, in the main game, she is this person that you can play this game with, and she gets money. In the end of the game, not in the end of the game, in the Plague Knight DLC, she's actually Plague Knight's assistant. I was gonna say, she's the Plague Knight. Like, don't you activate her? Like, do you have to talk to her after the game? To start uh -huh. oh, she's, um, she's the Plague Knight's assistant. Oh. Mona. Plague Knight comes down here and she's like, we'll go to my secret laboratory and then you fall through the floor. I want to say that's how it goes. Dang it. Um, I'm bad at this. Always go for those, the glowing ones. Yeah. I mean, you're not terrible. You got 190. You got 190 points. <laughs> Yawn. Yay. Damn, more monies. More monies and a music note. Hey, are we going right, to um, Genie? Which one is it? You just keep going, right? None of these yeah. are... Terribly important. That guy down there is the king, and he's like, "Oh, King Knight took my throne." You want to buy both of those? Where is the truffle king? The truffle king. Oh, truffle. Bye. Hey. Yay. And then we get genie Hail over the there. Trouble. All right. This guy's not gonna give Chester. me anything. Actually, no. You can buy something. You buy the fishing pole or that chaos sphere. The chaos sphere. Is a bouncing ball that just bounces about the room, and if it hits anything, it hurts it. The fishing rod. Find both of these in the stages? No. No. You have to buy those from them. I'm pretty oh. sure. Yeah. Um. 
It gives you other stuff in the Yeah, stages. the fishing pole is more important. Yeah, than because... That. You need it, it to summon the Trouble King. Yeah, it works with the Goblin. You can't buy that yet. Dying. However, money. jump to the left right there and hit the Oh, wall. I see, I see, I see what you're talking about. Yeah. I see it. Uh, now you have enough point. money to buy it, but you gotta talk to the guy. Oh, no. I gotta backtrack a little bit. Now that frog dude tells puns. No. Or the, wait, talk to the Gotician. I will after I get my... Yeah, does he give you a meal ticket? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, uh, I'm pretty sure the Gotician gives you a meal ticket, so you want to talk to him. Bye! Bye! I ain't listening to your shit! Yeah, like, you can buy stuff from him. Yeah. See, he's like, hey, oh, here's a meal I won't have enough for the bouncing ball. That's like. more important, though. Absolutely. Yeah, hell yeah. I got a meal ticket, and he's like, oh, Jesus, you got a meal ticket! Here, you can have food. I'm gonna cook stuff. He's, like, teleporting. <laughs> he's like, aha! Ooh, what was that? You know, he's trying, it was like, I don't know, whale. <laughs> it looked like a big old salmon steak. 